You never walk the righteousness of God. Righteousness cannot come through angry. The Bible said, love your neighbor as yourself. It didn't say be angry to your neighbor. The word of God says, love your neighbor as yourself. And when you love your neighbor, you cannot be angry with your neighbor. You're going to love your neighbor. Anger is not good for anybody. So that's what the Bible says, do not let the sun go down while you are still angry. Brother, do you have that spirit of anger? Are you so angry? Our God is a good God. So the Bible do not want us to have any anger in us. Because the anger of a man never walks in righteousness of God. And the Bible says, do not let the sun go down while you are angry. Young ladies, do you, are you angry? Do you have to from time to time to get angry, yeah? No. You gotta, uh, 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 uh. Since that you gotta change, you gotta repent today. Today is the day of salvation. Our God is a good God. To be angry is not good. Anger is very, very wrong. God bless you, sister. How are you doing? Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. So you gotta get rid of anger because when you are angry, you do the things that you don't wanna do. You do the things that you are ashamed of. When you are angry, you fight. When you are angry, you feel. When you are angry, you swear. When you are angry, you change. And anger is not good. Our God is a good God. So today, I'm going to pray for you as well that whatever that makes you to be angry never come, back, never come to you, okay? Jesus Christ loves you. Our God is faithful. Hallelujah. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Jesus Christ is not everybody. So today, we want to defeat the demon of anger, the spirit of anger. Do you know that anger has got a demon? Do you know that anger has got a spirit? And that's what the Bible says. Do not be angry, brother. Okay? Don't be angry to your brother. Don't be angry. Imagine God is angry with you. God is angry with you, your God. So in the same way, don't be angry to your brother. Don't be angry to your sister. Don't be angry to your husband. The Bible says, even if you are angry, but do not let the sun go down. How many days, how many years will you continue to be angry? How many months will you continue to be angry? What has angry benefited you? Nothing. It destroys your life. It makes you may have heart attack. When you are too angry, you have heart attack. Don't you understand, young man? Jesus Christ, God, don't be angry with your family, okay? Love them. Love them. Yeah, Jesus love you. Amen. Our God is a faithful God. Therefore, if you're one of those that are too angry, everything, a little thing makes you to be angry. Yeah? Are you one of those that are angry, brother? Jesus loves your friend. Amen. God bless you. So the Bible says, the thing they're going to be quick to do is to hear, as I'm preaching to you now, the Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of God. I'm going to preach to you, be quick to hear, be quick to take the word of God. Be quick to believe the word of God. Because faith comes from hearing and hearing is the, of the word of God. Faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God. So you're going to be quick to hear. Hello, young people, Jesus love you. You're going to be quick to hear. And the Bible says, but you're going to be slow to speak. Because it is good that you be wise. It's going to be good that you be wise. The Bible says, be wise as serpent and as innocent as those. Be wise in your speech. Be wise in your word. Because whatever you say can stay for a long time. Whatever you say can stay for years. Whatever you say, you say with your mouth can stay forever. I tell you now. So that's what the Bible says, be slow. Be slow to speak. Be slow to speak. Do not open your mouth and speak anyhow. You are not wise when you are not slow to speak. Are you wise, brother? No. You are not wise. You should be wise, you should be slow to speak, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah? Slow to speak, slow to anger, but be quick to hear, be quick to hear. The Bible says, how can they believe without hearing? How can they believe without the preacher? And how can they preach if they are not sent? Today, we are sent to preach to you, sister, that today, you should be angry, you should be angry, you should be angry. Anger has got demon. Anger has got demon. That is a demon that causes people to be angry. 
and that demon not to go, need to go. That demon got to go. Our God is a good God. It is a demon that is in the life of a madman that makes him to be angry. And whenever you see something good and you are angry for the progress of the good thing that your brother or your sister have achieved, there is a demon in you. And that demon needs to be cast out. Today is the day of salvation, sister. Are you one of those that are too angry? Are you angry too much? 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 No, nothing is no one. Jesus loves you. It is good not to hate nobody. It is good not to be angry with your children. It is good not to be angry with your brothers, with your sisters. Even if you get angry, but the Bible says, sin not. The Bible says, when you are angry, do not sin. Do not let your angry stay overnight. Do not let your angry stay to the when the sun goes down. You're going to repent, brother. Jesus loves you. Do you know that Jesus Christ is Lord? He's Lord. He loves you so much. No, no, we don't love you. You love you so much, brother. And Jesus Christ is Lord, yeah? So don't, do not be angry, okay? Jesus loves Muslims. And Jesus is the Lord of Muslims. Our God is the best man and just God. That must raise the name of salvation. Come up from the spirit of anger. God bless you. Jesus love you, okay? Don't be too angry, okay? Don't allow the demon of anger to, to come into your life. Never allow that demon of anger to come into you. Because every sin, every wickedness has got demon that is behind it. Don't you know that when you are swearing, there is demon behind swearing. Do you understand that? When you are swearing, when you are raving, there is demon behind everything that you do. Don't let the demon of anger affect your life. Don't be angry with yourself. Don't be angry with your children. Don't be angry with this country. Some people are angry here. And they are still here. Why? Tell me why. Some people are in London. Some people are in Great Britain. And they are angry with Great Britain. And they are still here. Why are you here when you are angry? Are you there? Are you one of them? Are you one of them? Hello, brother. God bless you. Are you one of them that is angry to be here? You are one of them. You are not angry. Are you happy to be here? You are happy to be here. Jesus Christ is Lord then. Let's lift up the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the name of our Lord Jesus Christ is highly lifted up. And the word of God says that the name of Jesus Christ every new bow. Every demon bow. Even the good and demon of angry. Is that you have anger in you? You have the of anger, the Bible says the anger of a man, the anger of a woman, never walk the righteousness of God. What we want to cast out today is a demon of anger. We want to expose the demon of anger. Do you have that demon of anger in you? Do you really have the demon of anger in you? If you have the demon of anger, we want to expose that demon of anger today. What we want to do today is to expose a demon of anger that leads to fight, that leads to war, that leads to killing, that leads to destruction. The anger of a man leads to destruction. The anger of a man is unrighteousness. Brother Jesus loves you. You're going to get out of the water. Don't be angry. Amen. The anger of a man leads to destruction. When you are angry, everybody, as you are looking at me right now, are you angry to see me preaching the good news? Are you happy to see me preaching the good news? If you are happy to see me preaching the good news, you are blessed. If you are angry, repent from your sins. Because the anger of a man never walked the righteousness of God. You cannot achieve anything to be angry when you see a preacher. Jesus Christ loves you, my friend. Our God is a great God. Jesus loves you, sister. Don't be angry with your children. Don't look too angry. Don't tell me not to be angry, yeah? You know, it's not good. It's not good for you. I'm telling you what is not good for you, sister. You are too, you're looking too angry. It's not good for you. Our God is a good God. Anger is not good. Yeah? Don't be angry. Yeah? Young people, are you angry? With daddy? No? <laughs>
carry the kid car to lay in the terror of salvation. We want to expose this demon of anger. We want someone to be free from anger today. Everyone, everyone at us today wants to be free from the demon of anger. Do you have anger in you? You don't have anger. God bless you. That's so good. Anyone that has anger in him or her has got a demon. Do you know that angry has got a demon, everybody? Do you understand that a spirit of anger is a demonic? It's a demonic spirit. Anger is demonic. Yes, that is a spirit. That is a demon behind anger. So if you are angry, sister, you are not seeing a demon behind that anger. You've got to change. You've got to repent from your sins. Because you never walk righteousness. Anything that never walk righteousness cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Yes, sister, if you are angry, you never walk righteousness. God bless you, sister. God bless you. Uh, God is a good God. Anger is not righteousness. Anger is not holiness. Anger is not good leading. When you are angry, you are not righteous. When you are angry, you are not holy. When you are angry, you don't have good leading. I tell you, many anger people, they have stroke. Because the demon of anger will just, you know, chop them. And they have stroke. Eh? Young people, don't be angry, okay? Mommy and dad love you, okay? Our God is an awesome God. So when you are angry, you get into trouble. When you are angry, you have heart attack. Angry cause most of the heart attack. Because when you get to your, when you get to your room and start to plan evil, angry produces evil. It's not good to be angry. Apostle Peter was angry when Jesus Christ was about to be uh, was about to be arrested. And Apostle Peter threw out the sword. And then he caught the ear of the chief servant. He caught the ear. And Jesus Christ says, No, 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 Apostle Peter, don't be angry. Don't be angry. Don't be angry. Because the anger of a man never walks the righteousness of God. Jesus said, Apostle Peter, put back your, your soul to eat pork. Don't fight. Fighting is wrong. Angry cause fighting. Angry cause killing. Don't be angry so that you're not going to fight, okay? God bless you, sister. Thank you very much. When you are angry, you fight. When you are angry, you kill. When you are angry, you betray your brother. When you are angry, you betray your friend. When you are angry, you betray yourself. When you are angry, you shame yourself. There's a lot of shame that comes through anger. Then when that demon run away from you, then you will regret. Okay, what have I done? What have I just done? Because you did not think. You are not slow to anger. You are not slow to speak. Most of us will speak anyhow, talk anyhow. You will not think what you are going to say. But you just say whatever comes to you. Are you in such a one? <laughs> Jesus loves you. You know Jesus Christ is Lord, yeah? You know he's the king of you. the raising king. He's raising. He's raising. He's the Lord. He's raising. He's God. Our God is faithful. Our God is wonderful. Therefore God wants you to come to him. Come unto the Lord. All you that never and heavy lady, that I will give you rest. Come to Jesus Christ. All you that are angry. If you are angry, if you are anger blessing, come to Jesus. And Jesus will give you rest. If there's someone that you want to fight, you want to kill, you know, you want to swear, yeah, come to Jesus today. Jesus will deliver you from that demon of anger. Every demon, every bad character has got a demon behind it. Let me tell you, lies have got demons. Let me tell you, adultery and fornication has got demons. Let me tell you that anger has got demons. Our God is a good God. Speak to me, tell me, talk to me, brother. Talk to me. Our God is a good God. So one day, expose the demon of anger today. 
If you are angry today, don't walk past here without first repenting from your sins and receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. That demon of anger must go, must be exposed. Expose that demon of anger. It's not good for you, it's not good for nobody, it's not good for the society. Come, come. That demon of anger come. is no righteousness. But the Bible says that righteousness exalts the nation and sin is a reproach. No, no, no. Anger no, no. is sin. When you are angry, you sin against God. And the Bible says that anger is sin. It's a reproach against God. Our God is a good God. So that demon of anger must be exposed today. It must go. That demon of anger must go in our nation. Must go in Waterstone. Must go in Greater London. Must go in this country. Our God is faithful and just. You kill because of anger. You swear because you are angry. You fight because you are angry. But God do not say that. God, God said to you, thou shalt not swear. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not fight. But you do all these things because you are angry, isn't it? So how can somebody say to me, don't tell me, don't be angry. I want to be angry. Anger is not good. Anger never works righteousness of God. Anger is wickedness. The next name, the other name for anger is wickedness. The other name for anger is wickedness. Our God is awesome God. Our God is faithful. So when you are angry, you are wicked. No matter what makes you to be angry. Do not let the sun go down. Thou said be angry, but do not sin. Yes, as human beings, you can be angry one time at one time or the other. But the Bible says, do not sin. You know what anger do? Anger leads you to sin, brother, I tell you now. Anger leads you to sin. And sin is unrighteousness. And unrighteousness can never ever take you to the kingdom of God. Do you know one thing, everybody? God wants every one of us to come back to him. God wants everybody, all of you here, God wants you back to him. And that's why Jesus Christ came. That's why Jesus Christ came to save us, to set us free, to take us back to himself. So God wants you, God needs every one of you, all of you here. God needs you, and God wants you to come to him. And that's why Jesus Christ came and suffered for us, and died for us, and died for the world, and gave his life. Jesus Christ died so that he will not die. Jesus Christ resurrected so that he will resurrect. Jesus Christ go up to heaven, so that you will go up to heaven. He made the way. He's a way maker. Way maker. You have to walk from his keep. Light in the darkness. My God, that is a you are. Do you understand that? He's a way maker. He made the way to the kingdom of God. He resurrected. And then he ascended to heaven. He opened the way. You opened the way. You no longer need. Elijah Charot will take you to heaven. No more. No more Elijah Charot. You don't need Elijah Charot to go to heaven. Things have improved. Jesus Christ has opened the heaven for us. We have open heaven. We are present in open heaven. The heaven is open for us. The heaven is open for you. Do you want to ascend to heaven? And our God is a good God. You have open heaven, everybody. Jesus Christ has given us open heaven. They have defeated the power of darkness. Jesus Christ has defeated the free fires and power. Jesus Christ has defeated every standing person. Well, that angry one. Who is the angry one? You? The angry one. <laughs> the angry one. You are, you are the two. You say you, the angry one. That one, the angry one. Ah, you gotta change. You gotta change. You gotta change. You gotta change. Ah, God is a good So Jesus Christ has defeated. The powers of darkness that trapped us from going to heaven. They have open heaven right now. Jesus loves you. We have open heaven, everybody. We have open heaven right now. So you can go to heaven. Jesus Christ has made a way. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He walks the way we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide, hold me closely to his side. We love our friend for each new day. He will make a way. He will make a way. God 
to make a way where there seems to be no way. He walks the way we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my God. Hold me closely to his side. We love our strength for each new day. He will make a way. He will make a way. We love our strength. But if you dare, he will make a way, he will make a way. Jesus Christ has made a way to heaven with love, with strength. He give us open heaven. Hallelujah. This is the season of open heaven. This is the age of open heaven. The heaven is no longer closed for us. It's open right now. I would say as many, as many as the company here, young people, come, come, we can come to everybody, all, all of you, come to me, come to me, who is the most angry person among you, who is the most angry person, this one, that one, uh, uh, oh, that one, hey, come, come, come here, our uh, God is a good God, Jesus Christ is Lord, it, it cannot be angry, brother, come to me right now, Jesus Christ love you, Tell him, come to me, brother. The anger of a man never was the righteousness of God. He cannot be angry. Okay, Jesus Christ, I've come to pay the price. So you cannot pay no more. Jesus Christ, I've come to give us free freedom, okay? She said, Jesus, love you. He's come to give us freedom. So don't be angry anymore. He has opened the heaven for us. We are broken in open heaven. We have got open sky. The sky is not never our limit right now. The sky is open for us to go to the kingdom of God, brother. You want to do that? You want to go to God's kingdom? Jesus, thank you, brother. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you very much. Our God is a good God. The heaven is open for us. The Bible says, let him that is thirsty come and drink. Let him that is hungry come and eat. Come and eat. Come and drink. Without price. Without payment. Because the heaven is open for us. Jesus Christ has opened the heaven for every one of us. Our oh, God is so good. And Jesus Christ loves you so much. For God so loved the world that he gave his son to God his son Jesus Christ. That whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus Christ loves you so much. He's here for you. He loves you so much, brother. You don't want to from your sins. You see. You see, this is what wickedness do. You know, this is what wicked, this is what anger do. This is what sin do. You know, sin makes people yes. to be like that. Our God is a good God. Sin makes you to be naked. Sin is not good. Sin is unrighteousness. Every sin is unrighteousness. Therefore, today is a day of salvation. Today is an acceptable day. Jesus Christ wants everyone. The Bible says He wishes. You do know the wish of God for you, that you will repent and receive Jesus Christ. Every one of you, every one of you, you gotta repent. Every one of us, Jesus Christ has opened His hand for us. He said, "Come unto Me, come unto Me, all you that labour and heavy laden. Come unto Me, for I will give you rest, for I will give you peace." He said, "Come unto Me, all you that labour and heavy laden. Come to Me." Come to Jesus right now. Jesus Christ is the Savior. He's a healer. He's a redeemer. He's a great God. He solved your problem. He's everything to me. He's everything to you. You need a father? Come to Jesus. You need a mother? Come to Jesus. You need a brother? Come to Jesus. You need a sister? Come to Jesus. You need a friend? Come to Jesus. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and sorrow he bears. What a privilege to take everything to God in prayer. What a privilege. It's a privilege to go to God in prayer. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and sorrow, He takes away. He has taken away all our sorrow. Every of your sorrows, Jesus has taken it away. If you can believe, if you can come to Him. Jesus, take away sorrow. Jesus, take away sin. Jesus, that heal every manner of sickness and wickedness. 
which anger is one of them. We want every one of us to be free from anger. We are exposing the, 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 the demon of anger today. Brother, are you one of those angry ones? You look angry. Mm, don't be angry, okay? Jesus love you. Take it to God. Whatever the problem is, take your problem to God. He will deliver you. You cannot, you cannot live to be angry. You can live to be angry all the time, angry, fighting, swearing is not good for you. Okay? Jesus love you. Jesus have died for your sins. Jesus Christ have died to set you free. Jesus Christ have died to give you what you do not have before. What you cannot be able to reach before is within your reach right now. Maybe you don't have peace before, but the Prince of Peace have died for you, and the Prince of Peace have given you peace in your heart. Maybe you don't have love. The author of love, love himself has died for you. Therefore you have love right now. Jesus Christ loves you, and he died for you. Our God is a good job. Maybe you do not know the way, but the way has come to you. And the way have announced himself that he is the way, the truth, and the life. Maybe you do not know the way out of your problem. Maybe you do not know the way out of your solution, of your situation. Maybe you do not know the way out of your anger. Jesus Christ has died for you, and he is the way out. Jesus Christ is the way out. Jesus, Jesus God, you know you are angry. That demon of anger needs to be exposed. That demon of anger needs to be cast away. Our uh, God is a good God. The anger of a man never walks the righteousness of God. We're going to expose that anger. That anger is demonic. That anger is demonic. Satan is very angry. It's an angry soul. But Jesus Christ is loving and listening. Are you loving? Are you listening? Our God is a good God. Jesus Christ, love us, he died for our sake. He made the way out. He's a way out. Way out. Way out to every situation. Way out to every circumstance. Way out to everything. Every problem. Jesus is the way out. He's the way out. He said, I'm the way. I am the truth. I am the light. You need the way? Come to Jesus. You want to know the truth? Come to Jesus. You want to know the light? Come to Jesus. He is the way. He is the truth. And he is the light. He has made the way. Jesus has made the way. The way for every one of us. This is Jesus coming to us again. Our God is good. Jesus, God bless you. Jesus Christ is love. You need a way out. Somebody, sometimes somebody says, I do not know the way. I do not know how I will get out of this problem. I do not know what is happening to me. I do not have the need to get out of this situation. But Jesus Christ is here. Jesus Christ is the way, the way out to every situation. Jesus Christ is the way out to every problem you have. Jesus Christ is the way out because Jesus loves you. Our God is a good God. The way is here, the truth is here, the life is here. His man is Jesus. Jesus Christ is the way. Jesus Christ is the truth. Jesus Christ is the life. He's alive again. He's a good God. He's here with us. He's here among us. He's working with us. He's working among us. He's ever ready. He's ever present. Every time, anywhere, any place. His men cover the whole heaven and earth. Because he made the whole heaven and earth. Our God is a good God. So the word is here. So the truth is here. So the life is here. You know, some people today they say they don't have life. They say this life is not a good life. This life is not a good life. Okay. If you're not having a good life, come to Jesus Christ who is the life. If you're not having a good life, come to Jesus Christ who is the good life. He is the life. Come to him today. Jesus Christ is the life. If you come to Jesus Christ, you will have a good life. You want to have a good life? Come to Jesus Christ. He will give you life. Jesus Christ is the life. The life you have today, the good life you have is Jesus. It's in the name of Jesus Christ. When you have Jesus, you have life. So Jesus Christ is the life. Maybe you don't have a good life. Maybe you don't live a good life. Maybe your parents don't give you a good life. 
Maybe your parents not give you a good life. Maybe your sisters not give you a good life. Maybe your father not give you a good life. Come to Jesus. When you come to Jesus, you have a good life. Because Jesus Christ is alive. Hallelujah. Some people today, they don't know which one is the truth. I don't know who to believe. Who am I going to believe? Am I going to believe my child? Am I going to believe my husband? Am I going to believe my friend? Am I going to believe myself? Some people are confused. You don't know the truth. You don't know the truth. Who you will believe. You don't know whether you're going to believe in the government, whether you're going to believe in the prime minister, whether you're going to believe in the king, whether you're going to believe in your, in your manager. You don't know who to believe. You don't know who to trust. Come to Jesus. Jesus Christ is the truth. When you come to Jesus Christ, you have the truth. You have the whole truth. The whole truth is in the name of Jesus. He got the truth. He is the truth. He is the one to believe in. If you believe in Jesus, you have the truth. If you don't believe in Jesus, there's no truth. Amen. Our God is our son God. So he is everything to us. So I would like to, I would like to bring everything together. You know, we have branched out. We have branched out a lot today. We started to, from James, the book of James, that says, be quick to hear, be slow to speak, be slow to anger, for the anger of a man never walks the righteousness of God. Amen. Amen. God is a good God. And then we come to a place that we know that every anger has got a demon. Every spirit of anger has got a demonic forces behind the anger. And you want to expose that anger today because everything that is hidden, the darkness is for them. The Bible says that the night is past night. The night is past night. The day is at hand. The light is at hand. No longer live in dark. No longer live in night. Because the day has come. The day has come. The day is the day. The day of salvation. Jesus Christ loves you. God bless you. Our God is a good God. Today is the day of salvation. The day is come. No longer dwell in darkness. You cannot continue in darkness, brother. Sister, young people, you cannot continue in darkness. Because the light has shined. And the light is here. Amen. God bless you. So the darkness is far spent. The darkness is gone, brother. And we are now in the daytime. The day has come. And that day that has come is Jesus Christ. And they have shined. And the Bible says that the light come and shine in the world. And the darkness cannot comprehend it. God bless you, brother. Jesus love you. Thank you so much. And the day has come. The light is shining. And the darkness cannot stop the day. The day is here. Our God is a good God. You know, when we are young, my mother taught me this song. We used to sing this song. And it said, The day is bright, it's bright than day. Oh, happy day. The day of joy, the day is bright, it's bright than day. Oh, happy day of joy. You know how to sing this song. Do you sing this song when you are little? And my mother taught me this song. I tell you, you know how to sing this song. You really know how to sing it. Our God is a good God. So when we are in the primary school, we are taught this song. Yeah, the day is bright. It's bright and fair. Oh, happy day. The day of joy. The day is bright. Yes, the day is bright. Because the brightness, the light has shined. The one of us said that the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness has not comprehend the light. The light shines. And the darkness has no authority over the light. Because when the light comes, the light overshadows the darkness. The light changes the darkness away. From the beginning, the Bible says, let there be light. And once the light appears, the darkness clears. The darkness gives way. So Jesus Christ, who is the light, has shined into the world. And the darkness has given way. Amen. Hallelujah. Do not dwell in darkness anymore. Never dwell in darkness anymore. Jesus Christ is here. Okay, so we say to everyone of us, anger is darkness. You understand that, sister? Are you angry with your family? 
angry with their husband and wife and children, angry with their friend and work, everything angry, angry with yourself. You know, some people are angry to be who God has made them to be. And that's why they keep changing their sex. A man will change to be a woman. A woman will say he's a man now because of anger. They are angry for themselves. I have booked that spell. I have booked that spell. I have booked that spell in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today is a day. Don't be angry of yourself. If God made you to be black, just be black. If God made you to be white, just be white. If God make you to be a man, just be a man. If God make you to be a woman, just be a woman. That's it. That is how it is from the beginning. Nobody can change it. No law can change it. No government can change it. No nation can change it. Nothing can change the law of God. At the end of the day, you know what will judge you? What will judge you is the law of God, not the law of a nation, not the law of men, not the law of a government. Not the law of king, not the law of queen, not the law of president, not the law of first world war. No, the law that will judge us is the law of God, the law of grace, the Ten Commandments. Bring back the Ten Commandments. Jesus Christ, Lord, Master. Amen. We're going to be judged by three laws. One is the law of the conscience. What is the law of Moses, the Ten Commandments? And what is the law of grace? But a good news. That is a good news, everybody. That is a good news to every one of us. If you can keep the law of grace, you are free from the law of Moses and from the law of conscience. Because the law of grace gives you right. And the law of grace will help you to keep these other laws. So that is why we should rely and depend on the law of grace. The law of grace is the law of love. The law of grace is the law of love. Every hatred is a, is a very, very bad law. Hatred has got nothing to do with grace. Anger has got nothing to do with grace. The grace of God has come to us. You want to go say that the grace of God has appeared to all men, to every one of us, brother. The grace of God appeared to you, that to your family. Yeah? God is grace. Jesus Christ is that grace. Yeah? And grace is the way. Grace is the way. And I show you. Grace is the way. Grace is the truth. Grace is the lie. Grace is the way. Grace is the truth. Grace is the lie and has come to us. So the heaven is open if you want to be there. You want to go to heaven? The heaven is open. The gate of heaven is open for us. But you're going to watch it. You're going to merit it. Do you merit to go to God's kingdom? Do you merit to enter into the kingdom of God? Our God is a good God. Today, the heaven is for those that merit it. Those that keep away on righteousness, brother. You know, smoking is not good for you. That's not good, brother. It's not good. It's not good. Smoking is not good. You know why smoking is not good? Because smoking destroys the body, destroys your body, destroys the organs in your body. And you cannot, nobody can replace those things. It's not good for you to destroy what you cannot be able to replace. Anything that destroys you, anything that destroys the creature of God, it's not good for you. Anything, no matter whatsoever it is, that destroys the creature of God, it's not good for you. Jesus loves you, brother. Jesus cares for you. Our God is a good God. So today is a great day. It's a wonderful day. Yeah. Glory be to God. So we're going to sing one song. As we wrap up this message, because we've branched out and we've come together again. And our message today, be quick to hear, be slow to speak, be slow to anger, because the anger of a man never walks the righteousness of God. The anger of a woman 
never want the righteousness of God. God wants you, 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 you to repent. Today is the day of salvation. Today is an acceptable day. Today, Jesus Christ has opened the way for you. The way is open. The heaven is open. The way is for us. The truth is here. The way is here. And Jesus Christ is that way. And Jesus Christ is that truth. And Jesus Christ is that life. And God is a good God. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. He is the King of Kings. He is the King of glory. Hallelujah. I will sing this one song. Hallelujah. Christ is coming very soon. Are you ready? With this song, I'm going to close this wonderful message. Hallelujah. Christ is coming very soon. Hallelujah. Christ is coming. Messiah, Messiah is coming. Alpha and Omega is coming. Hallelujah. Christ is coming very soon. Hallelujah. Christ is coming. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Christ is coming. God bless you. Jesus love you. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Christ is coming. Messiah, Messiah is coming. Alpha and Omega is coming. Jesus, our Redeemer, is coming. Hallelujah. Christ is. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Christ is coming very soon. Hallelujah. Christ is coming very soon. Hallelujah. Christ is coming. Christ is coming. Christ is coming. Christ is coming. Christ is coming very soon. Hallelujah. Christ is coming. Hallelujah. Christ is coming. Messiah and Savior is coming. Alpha and Omega is coming. Jesus our Redeemer is coming. Hallelujah. Christ is coming. Hallelujah. Christ is coming very soon. Hallelujah. Christ is coming very soon. Hallelujah. Christ is coming very soon. Hallelujah. Christ is coming. Messiah, Messiah is coming. Our Father Maker is coming. Jesus, our Redeemer, is coming. Hallelujah. Christ is coming. 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 Hallelujah. Christ is coming. You must listen to the good news because Jesus Christ is coming very soon. Today is the day of salvation. Today is the acceptable day. And salvation is close to you than when you first believe. Therefore, get rid of anger. Get rid of quarrel. Get rid of fighting. Get rid of swearing. Get rid of smoking. Get rid of killing. Get rid of murder. Get rid of evil hearts in you. And receive the grace of God. And receive the joy of the salvation. And receive the peace of God and receive the love of God in you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you for as many as have listened to your word today. And Father, I pray that as many as are willing today, you will welcome them. And I want you to pray after me. Lord Jesus, today I open my heart I welcome you to my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Be my Redeemer. I repent from my sins. And I will not sin again. Receive me, Lord Jesus, as your own as your own Lord, as your own son. And as your own daughter. In Jesus' name. Can somebody shout Amen? Can somebody shout Amen? And amen. God bless you all. Jesus love every one of you. Okay, if you have prayed this prayer, you are welcome to the household of God. Jesus love you. God bless you. God bless every one of you. Amen. God bless everybody. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.